this story right here is wow. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, let me go ahead and bring it up for you so you can see the title. Cook County Judge Strips Ma Mother of Parental Rights Because She Is Not Vaccinated. I'm going to read that headline one more time before I get into the story and you guys say, Wow, Cook County judge strips a mother of parental rights because she is not vaccinated. You cannot make this shit up, people. You cannot make this up. And this is coming from uh, Fox 32 Chicago by way of Fox 5 News. Uh. A Chicago mother says a Cook County judge has taken away her parental rights after learning that she is not vaccinated against COVID-19. And what all parties agree is a very unusual and perhaps unprecedented step. A judge at Chicago's Daily Center has stripped Rebecca Furrit, Furlit of custody because she refuses to get a vaccination shot. She says... I miss my son more than anything. It has been very difficult. I have yet I have not seen my son since August the 10th. Crazy. The day that's the day uh Furlet appeared in court via Zoom along with her ex-husband for child su for a child support hearing involving their eleven year old son. The two have been divorced for seven years and shared custody and parent and parenting time. She says, out of the blue, Cook County Judge James Shapiro asks whether she's whether she has been vaccinated. Furlitt told Shapiro she had uh, she had not because she has had bad reactions to vaccines in the past. Shapiro ordered that Furlitt be stripped of all. Oh, parenting time with her son until she gets vaccinated. My mind is fucking blown. In court systems, mothers have every single bit of leverage possible in the court system. But now that a mother decides she don't want to get a vaccine, a vaccine that... <sighs> <sighs> they took away her son because the government decided they don't like the way she's parenting because she don't want to get a vaccine. Judge Shapiro, suck my dick. That's crazy. That boy is wild. Please don't take it as a uh, I'm making a threat to him. I'm not making another threat to him at all. The term that I'm using is a term of anger. Urgh, that's all it is Anger towards Judge Shapiro Because I believe that is a shitty ruling And it can set bad precedent In the court system From that shitty ruling Wow I can't believe I don't know anything else In a short amount of time in history That's been that divisive This is a very divisive subject and now the government is forcing people to get vaccinated through the court system or they can't have their kids? Ooh. I just want to say, there's going to be some bad parents, happy as shit. Happy. Put them on the government's dime. Over the past two weeks, Burlett has been uh, able to talk to her son on the phone and through video calls, but she has not seen him in person. She said... I think there's something wrong. I think that it's dividing families. And I think it's not in my son's best interest to be away from his mother. Fairly is now appealing the court order, saying the judge has no business taking away her, uh, her parenting rights simply because she's not vaccinated. I... Uh, So, Furless attorney, uh, that's Annette Fernholz, says the judge overstepped his authority. In this case, you have a judge 
without any matter before him regarding the uh, parenting time with the child deciding, oh, you're not vaccinated. You don't get to see your child until you're vaccinated. That kind of exceeds his jurisdiction. His jurisdiction. Uh, to have uh, to have understanding, the father did not even bring this issue into the courtroom. The father never mentioned it because he didn't give a fuck. That's her personal choice. So it's the judge on his own and making decisions that you can't see your child until you're vaccinated. That's scary. That is really, really scary. That's fascism almost in a way. Like. No out. What if? What if she had a medical exemption? Would you still take away the child and the parent has a medical exemption to which, if she got the vaccine, it could kill her, or make every of the health issues she had even worse? It's amazing. The husband is acknowledging that what the mother is saying is pretty much facts. She has bad reaction to vaccines, so it's not a big deal to them because they know it harms her. But the judge said, I don't care. That sounds like New York City. It, it, it's getting crazy in some of these places. So the attorney representing the father, Jeffrey Levine, says they were also surprised, surprised by the judge's decision. But they supported the ruling. Of course, it went into his advantage. So I don't think he's going to complain about that. It went definitely to his advantage in court. Uh, there are children who have died because of COVID. I think every child should be safe. And I agree the mother should be uh, vaccinated. That's what the uh, father's attorney said. So they reached out to the, the judge's spokesperson. And they said they couldn't comment. Because of the ongoing nature of the case. Uh, the father's attorney says he believes the judge is breaking new ground that can now play out in other custody cases. There's no timetable on when the appellate court will make its decision. Uh, that's scary. That is definitely scary. They're already trying to force jobs, take away jobs from certain people. They're creating tears in America based on vaccinated and unvaccinated. When we have recently found out PhDs who tend to be the smartest people in the world, the, the smartest of the educated people, I guess we could say, uh, the most accomplished educated people, are one of the least vaccinated groups. Not only that, African Americans and well, people of color, but specifically black people, African Americans, however you want to determine that designation, we have low vaccination rates. Should all of us be excluded from raising our kids, going to work, traveling? Should we all be excluded for not wanting to take a vaccine when the government has shown us that they lie? Not once, not twice, they lie. They've been trying to cover shit up. Anthony Fauci has been a piece of shit since the 80s. And now he's the end all be all for COVID? Is that what we get into in America? Is that what we really get into in America? That you're going to take away this lady's child because she can't even get a fucking vaccination? That is preposterous. That is ridiculous. How? How do we get here in America? It amazes me. It really, really, really amazes me. People don't even want to blame China. For the fucking virus, but we'll blame fucking Trump. It makes no sense. Now they're taking away people, kids. I am against that. What was that judge thinking to even bring up something that the other parent wasn't even arguing against? Now you're building cases on your own against people in your courtroom. That is crazy. That is crazy. She literally said she's always had bad reactions to vaccines. It's the reason why people have medical exemptions for things. And you took her son away. You're setting precedent for the court system to be overloaded with so many cases now. 
I couldn't imagine being a great fucking parent. Because they weren't arguing about how good of a mother she was. None of that came up in the case. None of that came up in this article. Nobody said anything about her being a bad mother. Nobody. The father's attorney said he was surprised by the decision. Oh, my gosh. I am like, wow. I cannot believe this shit. This is amazing. I'm worried. I don't have kids. But, man, that's crazy. This makes me happy I don't have kids right now. Because the times we live in, sometimes you wonder, how do we get here? How did we get here? How? Why are the people who caused the issue being punished before your own citizens are being punished? Ugh! America makes me frustrated sometimes because this is where capitalism fails. When we put a dollar above our own citizens. When we put money before people, that's the problem. Right there. Right there. Every time. That's the problem. That's the issue. I really don't get this shit. How? Why? That judge a piece of shit for that decision. To even bring up her not being vaccinated when that wasn't even a question brought up from anybody. That was your own determining factor to take her child away. I'm pissed. That's crazy. That is crazy. The judge probably couldn't even tell me the scientific details behind what the vaccine is going to do to your body in five years. He probably can't tell me a scientific detail about what uh, a mask mandate really means. How effective are masks? What research is this doctor doing? Oh, man, that is crazy. Crazy. I got to go... I gotta go switch subjects because that that uh, that'll get your blood boiling. Like he just interjected themselves into their parental lives in a way that they weren't even in court for. That's like me going to court for a ticket, and next thing you know, you arrested me for murder. Hold on, buddy, I came in for a ticket. Now you're asking me that I uh hit somebody before. I say yeah, I hit somebody with my car. Well, you locked up for hit and run. We here for child support, bro. Now you're taking away the custody of my child. We weren't here for a custody issue. We was here for child support. Who? Like, man, that is crazy to me. Crazy to me. Like, who? Who? Ah, who? Sir. I can't rub my ears right now because I got my headphones on. But woo, sir. I gotta get my Martin on because boy, that. Who? Who? It's your boy, DJ the Park Boy. And I'm here with a special product for you. I got some Delta 8 weed from JK Distro. And I'm saying it's amazing. It's clean, smokable. And the best part is they deliver it right to your door. Because of the 2018 Farm Bill, it's now legal for them to have Delta 8 weeds sent through the mail. That's right. And if you use promo code FLOSS1, you can get some clean, smokable weed sent to your door. Direct. You have options. You go right there to jkdistro.com. You look at all the strands they have, which is a lot. You can even get you some edibles. You can get you some wine. Anything in between you can think of. You put in promo code FLOSS1, we're going to save you 20%. So go ahead, hop on that now. Make sure it's in the description.